twos and fours dinking system. And then I actually brought my things today. We're gonna work on uh, the attacks today. So we're trying to figure out how to easily do it because it could be a five hour video. You know, if I went through everything, but we don't want that. Okay, so one, two, three, four. At about where you want them all. Yeah. I thought I had smaller ones, but these are the small ones. So we're putting down our numbers. Try to just match him. And then this one. Maybe I have to buy even smaller ones. Let's These are good. You know, they're visible. For the bailout ones, I'm talking for the bailout. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But we won't worry about that yet. Okay. Okay. All right. So. We'll just use these for now. I got one, two, three, four. So let's make sure, since we now have all the numbers, that we've got a segment you can edit that just walks through, like it's almost near the beginning of the yeah, lesson. Okay. I'll go over here, so and you can do the walkthrough, yeah? Okay, actually, I'm going to go on there this side, this time. You two go over here. Okay. So when we read the number system, we read it like a book, left to right. So that's a number one. A number two, which is a backhand, right? A number three, forehand, and a number four, a backhand. So I call it my twos and fours dinking system. And I actually should call it my 444442 dinking system, really, because four is the most important number that we, we use. So when I read it as a book, and now it switches on the other side, they read it as a book this way. One, two, three, four. Four is a backhand. Two's a backhand, right? So we kind of goes at fours and twos to open up ones and threes. One, if I could do just a red X all the way down, I would, because we hardly ever go to ones unless we open it up with the other numbers and we have moved this person pretty close to this line. We don't go to one if they're sitting here because it's just the danger zone. Okay, so that's the twos and four system. The advantage of it also is that you and your partner know what numbers, the numbers are different. Hey, you're going to a four. Hey, let's the four is open. Let's go to a four. We'll know where to hit that ball. Your partner knows where to hit it. And I know where you're going to hit it. Let's say, hey, that person's backhand is weak, right? The guy in the hat. So we know, hey, let's focus on twos. So now we're hitting twos, right? So me and my partner know where to go. If for some reason, well, if let's say it's a lefty over here. Now that one is completely open. That's a backhand. So let's say, hey, he's a lefty. Let's focus on that one, right? We focus on the one. So that's how you and your partner can communicate. That's kind of what I was saying earlier, which you had it in the, in the yep. thing, but I, it's better now. I just extrapolated on it. So you and your partner can easily communicate where you're going and where to focus, and you can strategize off these numbers and that. Okay, so when I do the twos and fours system, my four is always my favorite because it's always a backhand that really is easy to defend on our side. So if I hit four, my partner's coming up to be the blocker here. I can come up slower. I'm just cleaning up the mess. I don't have to rush to this line. And the only thing we're looking for is an extreme cross court. That's one of their couple shots they'll have. 
So as long as I'm coming up slow, I can see that cross court and then I can hit it accordingly. So let's go, I really wanna kinda of work on fleshing out the attacks. We did a bunch yesterday. I think we know that stuff, you know? It was really more difficult to communicate than I thought. The attacks? Not the attacks, but just the system itself. Okay. Yeah. Because there's so many combinations, even though to me, you guys, it's pretty simple. So we'll have to be able to. I think though the, the what I when you're talking about the attacks, is it what two shots to expect, or is it? Well, that's the attacks, but just the system in general. Okay. Yeah. Because I see a section of the tape, which is mainly expounding on what you just did. Yeah. But it's the twos and fours, and then. No attacks, just some demo showing, you know, like I think a real interesting one is if you're there and I'm there, right? And I'm getting, I'm going to your four and yeah. I'm getting beat, I might go to their two, yep. right? So to show that and, you know, maybe. Well, that's like a defensive section, so this is, that's more like a defensive section. Yeah, I like. And then have an offensive section. Yeah, but the offensive to me, I started thinking about it and it's, we can, if we organize it right, it's super cool, which is if a ball is going from that four to that four, what two shots can we expect and what attacks are we looking for off of that? Okay. You know? And okay. then if it goes from here to there, what are our shots? And Yeah, because then I thought, okay, this guy's attacking, can have attacks. He's defending and attacking at the same time. He's defending and looking for attacks. But at the same time, that's what I wrote, is this guy's hunting for right. an attack. He's not really in the game, but he is, right? So what attacks is he looking for? So Off a of four, he's, I'm looking for a high exactly. floater so over if, the middle. If you go to me here, and yep. it's a really good one, and I have to scramble or go here. Yep. I'm looking for that high one or something down this line for an Ernie. Exactly. Those are my two main And we can demo that shots. really nicely, yeah. right? So those are my two main shots off of this person hitting a four, right? Yeah. Because those will be your two main errors. Right. Will be, I turn you around, you hit a weak yep. shot, and this is most people's bailout is straight over this line, not to my bailout spot. And then it's straight over this line, so that's the Ernie for this guy. And then for this guy. And then it's the down the middle high ball down the middle for this guy. Same guy, right? Then for this guy, so this I either guy. try to work too deep and I give you a volley. Yep. Or I don't get to your four and I go to your three. Yeah. So my two shots I'm looking for for this guy, if I'm in the action four to four, I'm looking for a high ball where I can do an inside out right in front of me. That's my, one of my main attacks is a high ball. I go inside out to that person in front of me. The other attack is if he hits a weaker um, dink that's neutral, I'm ripping it at this person's right shoulder. I can either do it off the bounce, but a lot of times I actually do it off, out of the air. And I'm gonna put that ball in front of me because I'll be ready for the attack more than my partner. If I attack, and back in front of my partner, she's not, she or he is not going to be ready to defend that attack. So my attacks from this side, four to four, are an inside out going straight at this person. It could also be a more advanced attack. So if we add in the third, because there's more than two attacks. But I'm saying these are the two attacks that have the highest percentage of working. Highest percentage of getting in play, highest percentage of working. So we work off those two. But the better you are at pickleball in general, you can add the third, which would be the lob right out of the air back in that corner. That would be kind of a third. And once we go fourth, fifth, sixth, we're starting to play that 50-50 game or the coin toss, as Gordon says, is half the times we'll make it, half the time we won't. I don't want that. I want 90%, 80-90%. You know, that's what, I, that's what I'm looking for off of my attacks. Otherwise, I just put it back in play on a defensive shot and keep working my fours, threes, twos, and ones. So I feel like what we could do right now, if you wanted, was put Char where you are okay. first, and you there and me here, okay. and have her go wide to me, and I'm gonna give you an Ernie, and I'm gonna give you yeah, good. The, the high one, and then we'll reverse you and Char, and I will give you a ball to your three to flick, and I'll give you 
to demo uh, uh, these. Exactly, because I think you want these to talk through it and maybe even have a voiceover while you're doing, yep. you know, these are five second little things maybe. Okay. So they're going four to four. As this person, I'm looking for a high floater over the middle, or if she brings them out wide, I'm looking for that Ernie right there. So see, I think that's a great clip. That's really yeah. good. Right? Yeah. I mean, you can't get more explanatory that, than that. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Try to right? write that in a book and it's two pages. Show it in a video, it's five right. seconds. So I think you take the voiceover you did earlier and you do that, you know, while you're doing the voiceover and then this one. Go wide to me again. So me, I'm just hunting. I'm looking for just a, a bad shot on their part. If it's in the air, I can go down, hit down. I'm taking that shot. Let's that was kind of a gift for me. I'm more looking for for him to try to go back, but to kind of miss in my shot over the middle. But I will take that one for sure. I'm looking for anything in the air here. There, good shot. And I really don't care if I hit it anywhere there. I have a downward shot. I can just hit it as hard as I can, make sure I'm in. Okay, so now that's you, what I'm looking for from this side. Do you want to show a third, which would be a, a dead dink bailout and you flick it at me or no? Okay, let's do a, a dead dink. So he does, he's just working. I'm looking for my two main ones. I'm looking for high over the middle. I'm looking for my iron. He does a dead dink, my, my attack. So once we are going to that four, I'm looking for the partner to move to center to cover middle. So if they give me a dead dink forward, which is a huge mistake. If it's deeper, I have a flick straight at them. If it's shallow, I have a dink right across because this partner has moved to center. That opens up to one. I don't go to one until this partner moves to center. Now, the other thing I would look for, if he gives me a straight ahead dink, which would be just a flat out mistake in general, is I'm looking for middle. If this guy doesn't cover middle, now I have middle, right? Do you want me to do a deeper with it? You can flick at me or no? Uh, probably my flick would be if I caught it out of the air. I'll give you that. Yeah. So I'm looking for my two main shots, but if he gives me a gift, I'm not gonna re-gift it, which would be there. So he hit one high, forward. That's my green light to attack forward. So I attack back, but I have to be ready for the comebacker. But that's a super high percentage shot. That's just kind of a gift. I didn't even have to work for it. So the ones I'm working for, me and my partner's going four to four. I'm looking for my Ernie, which is she goes hard, deep. He turns his head down. I see his paddle go flat. He's gonna put it right here almost every time. So that's where I start going for my Ernie. The other one is the floater over the middle. Those are my two main shots. And then the gifts, maybe we just call them gifts, is if he dinks the volley. forward, I'm gonna hit a volley or a dead dink where I can I mean, really, you're, it across. You're talking about the gifts are volleys because the other ones you're not, um, I mean, the Ernie is sort of a volley, but not really. Well, my really. dink would be a bounce. I would take it off the bounce. Yeah, so that's not, yeah. To the one, like you don't but want to the do one. that if those- I'm just saying the gifts, over. A lot of the gifts are just volleys. A lot of the gifts are just volleys yeah. that, that you don't even be instructed to take because you would take them automatically, right? Some might. You want to go over there and yeah. do your attacks? So yeah. now I'm going to give you, you're going to go cross court to me. And one thing I'm going to give you is a high ball, but still cross court. So maybe we need Char here because um, she's not even in this one. Yeah, she needs to, to, uh, need to be, yeah, she need to <laughs> get tattooed. Get ready. Get your mouth guard in. Do you want me to be the person here? Okay, so. No, because she'll beat me too bad on the dink. I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm gonna do two things, right? I'm gonna give you a higher ball to your four and a ball too deep to your three, yeah. I think. So we're in, the, we're in the cat and mouse four to four. I'm not doing anything. There, that was just a gift. So he hit a high volley. I didn't need the inside out there because it was actually a high three. So I just went straight ahead and popped it. I didn't overswing. If I overswing, I'm not ready for the comeback. I hit everything out in front of me. Just a nice little tap. Yeah, so that was good. So we're going four to four. I don't have anything yet. I don't have anything yet. 
if he floats one up, I'm gonna take it. Otherwise, I'm just staying in this dink. And a lot of times, that's just the winner in general. I just win the dink. And then I just stay on it because I'm tight. So that's, that's why great, I'm actually. looking for that inside out, right in her upper chest area. This person's upper chest is what I want. I want them to be, they're here low. I want them to raise up because what I call, it's an attack setup. So this is my, it's not necessarily an attack on this one, it's an attack setup. So I attack the upper body, the next one she lifts up and then I do the overhead. So I might win it just on the attack setup, but I'm looking for her to pop it up for me to just overhead. So now the other one I'm looking for is that one weak right there. Okay, I went too hard. It might not we'll, have been there. I we'll, probably we'll forced, demo it again. I forced that a little bit. Right. So I'm just looking for him to hit a weak, a weak three something. It's not. That's not when I would take it. I would take it if you bounce it. Okay, I'll like do that. Like float it here. I'll, I'll do that. And then I rip it. I'll yeah. do that. Or it comes in the air right there. Yeah. Yeah. Because I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't take those necessarily. Most people would, but I wouldn't. So we're looking at that one right there. Yes, that's, that's what I want. Because then, right, I go right shoulder. She's normally sitting here backhand bias sometime, and that right shoulder is hard to get to. And even if she does, she floats it up for my next attack. And I don't have to go so hard that it lands in if she lets it go. That's a, that's a perfect example. You want more examples there? Let's just see what happens organically. Okay, because the next thing we ought to do is the we did your digging to this person both of those the next one is i'm going to be here and and the two that you'll get off of here right off of if i'm here where am i well one you're there okay and then i'm also going to have you there okay yeah let's do that right or we could do more of here so my attacks here are what you give me here right i mean i'm going to try to go to your four okay right and so what attacks are you looking for Okay, so the main attacks I'm looking for when he's in front of me and Dink's in front of me, if he gives me a dead Dink that's halfway in between, that allows me to do kind of a rip-roaring Dink across. And that would be kind of high level, really. So let's think of the easy ones. The easy ones are just he floats me a, a volley and I can just attack. You know, sometimes I can attack off the ground if he kind of goes deep and high. Yeah, I don't like that one either. <laughs> I don't want people doing that one. My main one is we're going forward to forward and you give me a volley and I just punch it back at you. Yeah, that's my main one. If he goes forward, because there's not Which a lot- Which happens of, a lot. Like, yeah, it happens uh, a lot. Not a lot of room to work with. You get So tense. I'm actually lean forward. I'm looking to take one out of the air and you get tense, you over, you over grip. There, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's kind of a gift for me. And I'm a short shot. I'm popping it because I want to be ready if it gets it. Cool. So yeah, that's no. one. Here's the another one is. Here's another one. I'm going to her too. And I'm going to give you the one you love, which is to take, I get her deeper and you take it out of the air at oh, me. Yeah, okay. okay. So here's the other one I'm looking for. He's going, so that's the one I want. Right, We'll right do that there. again. That's exactly what you're looking for. Right, so you're basically, that person's trying to hit a two, a one, and they make the mistake of floating that two in the air. I'm here looking, I'm hunting for this exact shot. Yep, I'm hunting for it, it's not there. I'm hunting for it, it's not there. We're just blank, there. <laughs> My, maybe a little low. <laughs> so that's me forcing it. I wouldn't do that in a game. We're trying to demo it. So we'll wait on a better, we'll just keep trying until it looks good, Yeah. basically. So I'm just looking, I'm hunting. I don't know, where is he going? That's a pretty good shot on his part. 
So I feel you're too close to me here. I am. Yeah, because you wouldn't really be right there, would you? Probably not. Not right. with David. You're going to give him room to work. Right. Yeah. With a normal person who's fine, like if Gordon's working my two and I'm playing with anybody else, I have to go here. Yeah, so go a little more where you would go. Because I'm not worried about this line with him right now. He would have to show something really good. That's the one I want. Yep. I want, I'm looking, so Char is actually playing clean up here. She's just dinking it back to a two, or she would dink it back to a four, just being playing smart pickleball. But if we find a weak player on there, especially a weak backhand, she's going two to two with them, or one to two. Whatever they give her, she's going back to that two, which is a backhand. This person's a threat, sure, but maybe they aren't a threat in this scenario, so she's going two to two which allows me to just sneak over and hunt that ball. And it kind of comes out of nowhere. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I bring it right back in front of me. I don't go in front of my partner. So I'm just hunting there, right there. <laughs> I should block That it. was good. No, block it and then we'll figure out something out of it. But that was the shot. Yep. Sometimes they're gonna get it, sometimes they aren't, but my percentages are gonna be good. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, I'm I mean, looking to hunt and bring this ball and back in front of me, upper chest. You know, to me, a lot of it too is who's on offense. Is it neutral offense, defense, right? Mm -hmm. If you get me on the defensive, like what you're doing automatically gets in my head because I see you creeping over, yeah. right? I'm going to go to your four, but I'm going to lift it up. Okay. Right? So it's like, okay. Because that's what I would want to do, right? Twos and fours. And you guys are kind of working me. <laughs> it's just too good. <laughs> My partner yeah. burned me. <laughs> it bounced off that. But you still got it. There it is. Yeah. Right? Like, you, it just comes back. Even that one that bounced. That was a great setup, right? Because it came back at me so quickly. Yep. And then my hands are tight and I floated it to you. Right, so that forward shot, it's not really a dink setup, it's just kind of a gift. I would say that's a gift. So let's say you have attack setups and you have just free gifts that yeah. you're gonna take. I mean, I think the volleys to your body are just gifts. Yeah, free gifts. And I think it's important to know that like, when we are, you know, when I'm going back and forth with Gordon, like we are not switching directions. Like if you take a ball, you are not switching directions. Like yeah. we are not him. We're, the wall, right? yeah, like we're, we're, we're working. Yes. If we feel we're in control, if Char feels she's the better dinker and she's in control of this guy, she's staying on him. She's staying on twos. And I know I'm just looking for my chance. Now, just to say it on camera, if she feels she's getting beat, she would ditch it off to the four and then we would do the four scenario, you know? Right, but she, if she's in control of that dink, she's allowing me to hunt by looking for that shot. So let's do it again. <laughs> Listen. All right. All right, we're good. What do you want now? Let's, let's keep setting up this one. Just keep dinking and okay. let me go like naturally. Ah. That's difficult, yeah. <laughs> Just keep your eye on it. It still bounces. <laughs> okay, how about you hunt? You hunt. You're a hunter. Okay. So I'm just going two. <laughs> okay, that'll shut me up. I like having the numbers so there. Going twos, that's oh. what she's looking for. She's looking to hunt there. So it doesn't matter who's hunting, you know. We're just setting up the hunt. The hunter. That's a, um, so we know a two's there, how about that? We know a two is right there. We're just gonna move it for this demo. That makes sense, right? Gordon's like Mr. Target there. Uh, 
So that's it. That's my attack setup. So I might not get that one, but I'm going to go upper chest where he goes high. And now I have a chance to do an overhead, which is a high level. Now this person has to be, they have a super hard job because they're playing defense and putting it in play. And I'm encroaching, I'm looking, I'm hunting the whole time. I'm putting a ton of pressure on this person, but they still got to hit the shot. Because if I give him a volley, yeah. he's going to burn. Yeah. Well, the other Correct. thing is I they could, gotta hit the shot. I could block yours back to her. So she's got to be ready. Yeah, she's got to be ready. On that pack, right? So I'm just looking for any mistake. <laughs> it wasn't there. But she's, she still has to make that shot. It's a hard job being that guy, but that's part of it. And that would be her attack. She would have that attack. Backhand, yeah. You yeah, can, so if she's giving you can do a that. gift, you can go backhand there. she's going to take the gift, right? Because that would be a gift. It's not really... It, it's a it's a setup for her. So let's do that. You're over here. Now I'm going to hit my attacks off of these twos. So they, they're going to have to be high. Nothing yet. Nothing. Oops. The tough thing is like when on that one that she did, and I'll do it again with you, but I felt like I was working her in control. Yeah. But then she hit a really good one, and I just, it's, there's not a lot of room to work there. Yeah. That's your whole point about going, at, you know, you're almost going straight ahead on this one. That's my yep. attack. So yep. I'm looking for something that I can poke in front of me at that guy's shoulder, upper chest. And then I have to be ready for the comebacker. That's one of mine. And my defense is to bring it back to the four, which is in the other part, kind of. Yeah. Because I wouldn't go to this two to two unless they are the weaker player, the weakest shot of the weakest player. Yeah. And then we're looking for that person to move over to cover. That opens up the four. I mean, it's really dangerous because it's, okay, when you're digging forward, it's the worst. You got the highest part of the net and the shortest thing to work yeah. with. But here, you know, still don't have a lot of room to work with. And it's really easy to leave it just a little deep. And you and don't I need... actually wouldn't be up there like that. So that, I really don't have attacks from here. I'm just playing defense. Well, you're the, the workhorse. Yeah. But I think what you would do, depending upon this person and this person, is make yourself the hunter. If I was Especially the Especially with Char person, over here. Yeah. Right? So you would take my two, and as soon as possible, As soon as drop possible, I'd be on that four. Yep. Yeah. Now, if I was in this spot, okay, because sometimes we're not stacking or we're stacking, and I am, I would be on this line. I wouldn't play cleanup. Right. I'd be the aggressor. Yeah. yeah. So that would be my attack. I'm looking yeah. to punch it. Yeah. So that would be my attack. And I and I might work the ones and two right there. Yep. Yeah, because I would work you all over. I would go two. That's where I would open up the one with the right. two. And I'm looking for that roll in front of me. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So that is my attack from here. Yep. Because that I, opens up the one no, for me. No, I don't want to give it to you. If I'm the one playing this two, I'm the one doing the two. I'm just playing the two. I can go to the one, and there we get a yeah. win off it. Because he's he never bailed out. He's stuck in a pattern. What I need to do, let's do it again. Because okay. what I need to do, ready? I need to go, right? Like, that's my bailout, basically. If I'm getting worked, I go to the four. Yeah, well now, right? you gotta watch, what are my feet doing? Are they square? Are they here? Are they here? Yeah. If my feet are here, what does that open for you? Over there. The one. Yeah. You cross foot me, you wrong foot me. Yeah. Yep. So you're looking for that, you're looking, if she's squeezing middle, that four is perfect, right? Yeah. If she's hanging out there and letting me work, the one's perfect. Because you're looking for my feet. I'm just keeping it in play. 
But it's still twos and fours, right? That's all I'm doing. That's all you're doing. Yeah. It's yeah. A, it's a little, it's interesting. It's a little awkward. I'm just so used to this person being the main dinker. Yeah. It's a little awkward here, but it still works. It still works. Yeah. Because you went two to see where my feet were, opened up the one, yeah. right? I have to hit a great shot, two or one. She's probably here, opens up and the I four. And I went there. Yeah. yeah. So there's... There probably is very specific combos to do, like I do. I'll do four, four, peg them here, three, right? Yep. And then move them back deep, and then I kind of own them, right? So there's probably spe very specific combos we can do, but I personally just like to see what opens, you know? Just I, like I do that. think, like Char said, knowing nothing else, try two, two, one, four right? Yeah. Did it work or not? Try it again. Right. Now, maybe you're set up and you're getting the one and maybe you're even hurting us on it. Okay. And the main thing is like, when do we go off a number? When we don't feel we're in charge anymore. That's when we go off a number. Yeah. Yeah. If I feel I'm beating you on the two, I'll probably stick with that two and I'll move it, you know, one and a half, two. I'm not going to mess with that three because that guy's hunting, but I am looking to open up the four because my backhand goes perfectly to there, you know? And I would do that. Which, you know, if you'd go like you did to me earlier, there, there, here with the tough one that's deep, yeah. I can't do much with it except hopefully get it back there. My partner's probably sucked in here. Right, and, and I'm you, looking to hunt that one and roll it or move it back Or just to a, a, four. a deep four. Yeah. A deep four, right? Yeah, and you should be looking for a four, but this person always goes back they Straight, should. So let's go. Let's go here, but be ready, right? Um, I'm just going to give you not too aggressive one to your four. Yeah. Exactly. That's that. That's burning your partner. Because they just ripped it at my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She did the right thing. Whenever we give a volley, the whole system blows up anyway. You know, right? But if we're bouncing the ball like normal, then it works. So she, the smart play was to go to the four there. There's a time to change directions and it's when you're in trouble or you have caused a hole. We built the hole. We pinned him to near a one and a half. The, the player that's in three and a half moved to center. And now we build a hole and now we're gonna fill the hole. Boom. If we can make somebody take one big or two steps, that's a hole. We're going to cause some chaos. We're looking for them to pop it up where we get a 90% put away. I think that makes sense. So let's try to set that one up again. So here I'm just playing middle. I'm just playing middle. I'm just moving around on him. And then he might have gave me that because I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that attack out of the air. So now he goes to a one. What should she do? Like that was a volley, but if she'd have let it bounce, she could have really, what would you have done with it? For me, she should be up on this line looking to get a volley. Yeah. You know, because the ball's going. Oh, and I was just going to put it back at the two because I couldn't attack from there, but. If I would have saw I had to reach for it, I would have moved back and hit it probably to a two. Okay. Because that's a hard shot. Yeah. If it's so it's short. So let's let's do the, let's yeah. do the same. So if setup. it's short and high, yeah, you take it heavy cross court. Yeah. If it's in the air and you can yeah. get it, you're gonna attack me with it. I'm popping it forward. If it's a really good deep shot, you're gonna bail to my I'm two. I'm gonna go b deep step and probably go right to that right. two. Cool. Yep. Yep. Maybe a four, but that's very dangerous. So but you, I'll probably go a two and just keep playing. So it's like to me, you have two shots where you are on offense and one when you're trying to neutralize. Okay. You've gone a little defensive because yep. I've hit a great shot. It's getting better in my mind. And you you just want to, okay, now I want to neutralize. Yeah. So I just, yeah. Right, so I'm, I'm looking for my two shots to attack. But yep. otherwise, mentally, I'm just defending the whole time. Yeah. But if I'm given those two shots, I'm going to take it. But I have to be in balance. It has to be ready. So let's go I don't to the... force it. Go, yeah. go to my two. And then my one will be open and go there and I'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to get killed. It's okay. So I'm just, I'm up on the line. I'm just looking for a gift. That would be 
difficult. I'm letting her work. That's that's what gives me the four. Yep. Yeah. I didn't. I'm off balance. I had to. This was a dangerous one I hit, but I didn't see him moving. And if I hadn't seen him do an Ernie all day, I'm not really worried about it. If he's an an Ernier, I probably just gave up an Ernie. Um, but that's the beauty of the four. So it what I like. Me, yeah. Even though I'm here, that put me on defense right away. Because look at how difficult. But that's why that's the difference in a one. A one, I'm just set perfect. I'm ready to do all sorts of crap. But the one, the four is difficult. So what I like about that is yeah. recognizing right away, are you on offense? Are you on defense? If you're on offense, press. If you're on defense, go neutral. Yes. So you immediately went, she was kind of controlling me, but I hit a good shot. You went on defense, but you immediately said, no, no, no. I'm not going to try to hit some career yep. shot. Going to go neutral, right? Now that yep. you made it difficult on me and you got an opening yep. for offense. I went neutral. He went back at me. It opened up one of my favorite offense. shots. Yeah, yep. it opened up offense. So I, what, mentally, I'm a defensive mind. I'm a counter striker, which is a very safe way to play. Yep. You know, maybe tennis players are aggressive all the time, but it's very hard to play with that aggressive of a person unless they're awesome, you know? Um, cause there's no setups. There's just ripping. Let's go with, yeah. So my, my mindset is defense. I'm looking for my two, two shots. If they're given to me, I'm not going to force them. Yeah. I'm going to play defense until I'm given my two attacks, you know, otherwise I'm defensive minded and I'll wait for the better shot. So you always have in your mind where your defensive shot could go, where your safe spot is. Always. So. I Jesus always have my safe space, which is my bailout dink, right? But otherwise, I know if I'm in trouble, I have a two and a four I go to almost all the right. time. Yeah, because I've drilled that into my brain. That's why I call it the twos and fours and not the ones and threes. But I should probably call it the fours, a bunch of fours and a two, <laughs> because four is the best safe space. But here, you know, I'll teach people that I'll go to four, and they will try to go to four from here. That's like a nearly impossible shot. Yeah. yeah. So I'd rather go with two here or my bailout, right? And then I reset me and my team. He, now he gives me a fluffy one. Now I got the rip four across. So yeah. mentally, most people are looking to attack all the time. I'm looking to defend and I'm forced to attack. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're defending or you're setting up. Yeah. So here I'm looking for my, my hunt. That was awesome. So oh, that's that a great one shot. Is, that's the one where I go over. For him to put it back here would be Near, I, a 10% shot. There's no way. So I knew the shot that's coming is going to be high middle. So that's when I came over because of off of her shot. I'm watching what her she's doing. I'm watching his paddle and what it's doing and his body. So that's where I automatically moved here. You'll see it, you know, in the yeah. camera because that's the shot that's coming. So that's the one I'm looking for. That's. So she's just doing her work. And then she hits the 10 percenter and it's awesome. For her, it's not. That, she yeah, actually no, owns that shot. Might not be, right. That's a good shot for her. But it's, it's mainly a 10 percenter because. Yeah. Very hard shot. If she hit. doesn't hit that perfectly, if oh. she hits that in the air, yes. it just burned me, right? What I do is I hit it right there. Every once in a while I'll go there, but it's such a hard shot to pull off. I try to do like very high level percentages. I don't take a lot of risks, you know? That one right there. So that's my gift. I'm not gonna re-gift that and put that back in. I'm gonna punch that upper chest. His paddle goes up and normally it pops up, but it went to the net. I'll take either. And there I was, you know, I'm forced to do it. And that would be, you know, something. I probably just roasted, got that one roasted. 
I was supposed to go four. I was set up for the four, and I went three. Five or six. High. <laughs> That's death. I got my partner tattooed right in the chest. So she's working the twos. Oh, now she's in trouble. Right. So let's um. I actually should have taken that and gone to the fourth. Yeah, and then a long time ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that's something we would work with with four people. So today I just want to work on these attacks. So we're. So let's. Did we do this three attack? We did earlier. Let's do it again. Okay. Yep. Where I, it's where uh, you're there. You're. I think I'm. I'm want this one. Where, where like do you... you're gonna move her back three. Oh, that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm. That's where the danger is. I, right? I don't want to hit to the three, but <laughs> I will. Yeah. Here we go. He's gonna move you back. He's gonna work I, fours I'm, and threes on you. What I'm doing is I'm trying to not be in a rut, and I make a mistake. I'm gonna do make a mistake, which is a deep three. Yeah. yeah so, so he's gonna work a four. He's gonna work a four, and then he wants to move her a three, and boom, that's my shot. So I'm looking. So he would he would have went a premature three. So if he works a four, a four, and moves her here, really moves her, that's where the three is open to go deep because it makes her come back. So that's where the perfect three is. If he goes three too soon, this guy's hunting it. Yeah, because that's one of my attacks when the ball's in front of me and he's going cross court. I would say that is uh, a bit upper level only because, like, at least with the four O's, they're not that comfortable with the backhand attack. Okay. And they stay put. You know, they're, you're very. That's right. They stay put. Yeah. Where they should be. Uh, absolutely. Hunting. But so that's me, what, if they get something out of this video, would be this person's in the game. Yes. Even though a lot of people watch, oh, I never got a ball. You never got a ball because you didn't go get the ball. Right. Right? I'm looking for that pop. And I might stand there, la, 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 and then boom, I'm in. And yeah. unless she gives me a, a, a volley or a floater, yep. I can't go. I can't even, That's, even if you cheat over and I say I want to go to the one, which yeah. is okay. Right. But I, if I try, I'm going to get. So I'm hunting this. I don't have to worry about the one because he can't really get there. And then he has to force a tough shot. So there. a lot of people say, oh, I'm covering this line and they open up middle, yep. which gives this person the world. No, don't do that because their shot is nearly impossible to get to this one unless, okay, we're gonna go through this. It's barely, it's, it's really impossible to get there. And I can get there with my forehand to cover pretty much anything from here to here. I can go get it if they hit some miracle shot. Now, if this person gives them a volley, I'm toast anyway. It doesn't yeah, matter. Doesn't matter. So I'm looking to cover middle and cut this thing off. That's what my shot is. I don't worry about this line. Now, where it changes is if I'm on this side. You're here, you're here. Here I worry about line because it's a one and it's a forehand. Right. So if she puts a shot that's not penetrating yeah if it's penetrating i cover middle if it's kind of slow that's going to bounce i better cover this line because it can go anywhere that's why one's so dangerous because now my partner just spread us out because she has to come cover he has now he has a one and we're in deep trouble so that's the difference where they say oh i got to cover line they they think each line is right. equal and the same it is not it's uh, different. Especially since, uh, you might have mentioned it, but over here, it's your backhand. So without moving, your reach is there. Yeah. Here, it's your forehand. Without moving, your reach is there. Right. A lot longer reach. You're, most people are more comfortable with their yeah. forehand instead of their backhand. And Me, it's I amazing like as you were demoing that. So you're about where you would stand. Yeah. Right? You'd give up that much. Yep. You took, I don't know if you noticed, you took one step to your left just to kind of, de so do now, giant step to your left. The amount of space you're covering, you yeah. are without really moving, you're covering 60% of the court, 70%. Yeah. So there's gonna she be- She doesn't have to worry. That means she can camp. With If you're playing yes. there, 
she can really camp on the backhand. And then, and I play mixed. I want my partner to camp a little more. I don't yep. want them coming middle too much. I want to take middle because I'm going to take that ball back to four and I'm going to become my right. own hunter. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where it'll be kind of beginners, intermediate, advanced, you know. That's an advanced move, yeah. Because I'm Yeah, bigger, I kind of taller. like maybe building the video where when you're talking about the shots or the movement, you you do it right then. You don't have a section on advanced. I Rather, it needs to be right then. You yeah. just say, okay, for beginners, here's what you're looking for. Intermediate, advanced. Yeah, because yeah. if you give me give me a weak dink kind of right to my one, right, boom, that's my lob right in that corner. Yeah. Perfect, you know. That's why we don't go to ones. Most people, it's very difficult for them to lob off their backhand. So we don't worry about that there. That's why we don't give ones until it's open. So let's do a little demo with you standing where you would stand. Give up the line, okay. right? Let Char go backhand to backhand with me. And she should not even have to hit a forehand, right? I don't, yeah, maybe she does, maybe if it's to her toe. But you're gonna cover, yeah. Yeah, I'm hunting, boom. That's, I mean, that's the picture perfect. Yeah, yep. yeah. I'm gonna cover this. The only time I get burned is if my partner gives them a volley. And then any, yeah, and if you give any, a 4-0 volley, you turn them into a pro. A 3-5, you turn them into a 5-0. And even, I So think that's it, why we always try to bounce that ball. Yeah, so there I finally got to her. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then just the pressure in general I'm putting on, I'm in the game. Some people just sit there like a dumbass and don't do anything. I'm in this game. I'm causing pressure. I'm trying to get away from you. Yeah, and I'm that's shrinking what cause the that court, error. Right. Because yep. my goal, I figured out a long time ago, is I'm going to shrink the court on them, but I'm going to play in the whole court of theirs. So it's basically it's three against two. You know, I want to shrink where they play, and I want to open up the whole court on that side. And I do it all the time, just using the system and using this person that's in front of the ball being dynamic. So it's, this is also interesting to me from a mixed perspective because typically the guy is there and the woman is there, but also there are a lot of women who have pretty good backhand dinks. Yeah. So you've just shown dinks. a way where the guy can play the right and still be on 70% of the court. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. And exactly right. Because this person might, this female in mix might be a, a tennis player yeah. and she loves hitting forehand drives and that's her best shot and she's not great at drops. So let her hit forehand drives, let her hit her awesome backhand dinks and then you just go hunt. You just hunt down the middle. All right. And then me especially, I'm going to that four. I'm bringing that ball back to that four. It's super safe for Did me it? to bring it back to that four. Like it and then they get back in that cycle and I just let them work. It occurs to me that in our club, when I think of some of the, the best women, um, so Linda yeah. and Lisa yeah. and Lorena and Char, yeah. I would, some grouping yeah. there, right. they all have awesome, they got good games, but awesome backhand dinks. Yeah. All four of them, right? Yep. And so it's a, it's a shame to put them here where they don't get to use that weapon. I when love I, what you're doing. When I play with Linda, I put her over there. Yeah, I love what you're doing. Her backhand punch yeah. is so good. Her backhand slice, dinks are good. Slice, right. Slice. And then that gives her her forehand drive. So it just makes sense. Right. With Lisa, she's better here because she wants to do two-handed resets. Okay. You know. So she's better over here. She's also got a great lob off the ball. Yeah, and she likes to play on this side. She's used to it because I can cover so much and she could just use her forehand a lot. I mean, I feel like playing against the two of you, right, like you're describing, the only thing I've got here is to hammer her four and hope, and it's a bit of a coin toss. Yeah, and then if she gives a volley, we're toast anyway, well, yeah. you know, right? But I can put it in the net or... And now once she figures out to bail out sooner, it's gonna be even better. Right. Yeah, what are they gonna do? They, they, it would be hard for them to beat me back door. Especially because I know my, to bail out to the two, well, or here. Is it? Okay. Okay. I just am not soft enough, you know, but it's easy for me to bail out to the two. Like, I, I don't know. Having that toe as a, a target. Uh, and I'll think, 
if you watch me when I bail out, if you move me, I bail out. Right. If I'm stuck here, I keep going. If you move me, I bail out, right? Yeah. So why would I hit this shot and be off balance where most people are still trying to hit that shot? The, the thing that's good, again, about the way you were just showing, though, is that Char would hardly ever have to move because she can right. go she can, left. And I tell Lisa, and quit moving. Right. Because she'll, she'll hit the ball and come back. I'm like, no, that's my ball right here. Let's just hang yeah. out right here. Make them beat me there. Right. You know? Because I'm going to see what shot she hits, and then I might have to cover. I know what shot I'm hitting, you know? And I know I can stay put. It's interesting because... Uh, the other day I was playing with JJ and he was there and I was there and I'm dinking with Linda or Lisa, I don't know which. And he said to me, you don't need to expend so much energy moving back to middle, I got you. Right. And I thought, well, no, middle is mine to get, right? Which is the traditional thinking that, uh, right. right? But not on this side. Yeah. Not, not with a dynamic, very fast player. Yeah. 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 Let him have it. I right. played in the combine. I had a guy, Thule, um, Tom Thule, whatever, you could see he was like up here amongst all of us, right? He could just drops and dinks every time, but he was so fast, he would close and just, just smoke anything you gave him up in the air. But if it bounced, he bounced it. It was just bounced. So I said, hey, plus he can cover middle, he can cover 70% of the court. And I saw him with the, the game previously, this guy kept getting middle and they were clashing the whole time when he, and, and missing, and they lost the game where they shouldn't have. So I said, hey, I watched that game, I've seen you play. You are taking middle, right or left side, it doesn't matter. So I would just hit my dinks and, and I would get out of the way. I was calling Johns to Ben Johns on that one. Wow. And I played it perfectly. Yeah. I didn't miss a single shot. I forced Ernie's, I shrunk their court, me and him, yeah. shrunk it like this where we played their whole court. And we won that game against two really good players. You Interesting. Know? Against the guy who won the whole thing. Yeah. You know, he's and that afterwards he said, "You, we won it because of you, David, or I mean, you guys won it because of you because I didn't miss, and I set him up for yeah. his the dynamic shots. He, this guy was having a great day. This is the greatest game I ever played. You know, because everybody wants to be macho. Right. No, I want to win the game. In my mind, my best strategy was to let him be dynamic. So I didn't, I didn't try to get this shot. He had it. He had, I was, I didn't expend any energy. Yeah. You know, I just kept that ball in play, man, and let him hunt. He was just having a blast. It was great. What, you got to go yet? No, I no, 2.15. Oh, no. I was going to say that it occurred to me, because we were talking about this the last time we did the two and four just there the day before, mm -hmm. that Gordon and I have been clanking paddles mm -hmm. with me on this side. Yeah. And he's like, you got to let me take that. And I'm like, but it's my forehand. And I, re and I was sure that it was my ball. Like, I hit the previous two shots. Right. And I'm like, it's my ball. And he's like, no, I think it's my ball. And I think I've been fighting him because the traditional thinking is whoever gets the forehand in the middle yeah. does it. Right. But it's not necessarily true. Like, no. If I know my role, no matter which side I'm on, I leave a lane and I, I do my... Yeah, let him work, and now that he's smarter, he's going to move that back to the four, you know? And that goes back to Heli Spar, you know? Who yep. takes what ball? The best system out there, you know? Who takes what ball? Why would we fight it? I'm just refining the kitchen game for what works at the pro level, you know? And I think people can do this pro level game at their level. And you got to recognize the strength of your partner. Correct. So the strength of you yeah. on that side. Right. I'd You're probably be taking that three and moving back to the floor. Don't have to be going. Correct. Well, in fact, if you do, you're going to, he's not going to like it. You're not helping the team. Not right. It's all about being a team. Right. Yeah. Plus, I want you to think that I camped over here and that that's okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's certain times you'll know, oh, that's, yeah, I got to take that. But yeah. let, like that one you put right here. Yeah. But if you put it any closer there, and it's, and it's especially big when we're in this role, you know, if you're there and I'm here. Yeah. You know, me and Lisa, I'm taking this ball, right? Yeah. And I'm still hitting it back to that four. And then I, I'm looking out of the corner of my eye for this person to move, and then I have that oh, one. Well, I've got nothing. See, when you're playing there, yeah. the twos and fours 
are like, how do I want to die, right? Yeah. I, can, I can die with a forehand because the two has really become, you know, you put the two and three together. And the four, you're, you're yeah. great on backhand dinking. Two is here, the one. And you've given Char the one. Yeah, you still have to do that four, though, from here. I know. You know no matter what this person, no. how good they are. It's ben just, Johns. It's all you got. Once they cross that line, you got to do it. But that's where you developed your lob, too. And it's yeah. kind of a nullifier, a neutralizer. Right. Yep. It's like, gosh damn, lobbers. Yeah. Exactly. They're screwing up my system. <laughs> so now I know. So now for lobbers, I look, what hand do they lob off of? Oh, they lob off their forehand, right? Don't they, them. Right. I don't give them that forehand. I make them hit backhands. But so, my partner gives them forehands like it's like they got a deal. So this weekend, I told you, they combined us for the 35 plus. Yeah. So we had to play the two 35 year old teams, yeah. right? So the one of them we played first, I lobbed them a few times. The match point, the ladies there, I hit my top spin lob. The guy is there and he goes, uh oh. <laughs> that the other one, I did the top spin lob. The guy says, I got it. And he goes back. <laughs> He ran like this? Yep. Yeah. Dunk. Yeah. And it was, you know, it's a topspin, so it's moving right. too. That's so it actually, when it hit him, almost went around him. That's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. yeah like okay, so we'll play just in your side, Char and I. That was really good one that you hit there. You you know, I see, especially with the pink shirt, yeah. you're moving. Yeah. It's very distracting. So that alone. You yeah. got to be careful when you Ernie, though. I know, because then you put you back over there. Because if his is neutral, where he can just pop it straight over the middle, that's not a good Ernie. You abandon your post. Right. The Ernie is wide. when he, yeah, wide and looks down. Faking the Ernie is great, right? Oh, yeah. But if you abandon on a neutral dink, we're in trouble. In trouble you got the whole Correct. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. But you definitely... That's all Great. I had. <laughs> huh? That's all I had there. What's wrong with that? Well, I went to the wrong court. Oh, no, I thought that was good. Uh, I mean, we got to pretend there's someone there. Yeah. And that's, see, this is when you have a dynamic player. So try to play like you're playing the bone, her. Like I'm doing what? The, like she's the bone and you and your partner on her. Okay. And then we'll see the pressure I can put on. I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to get one over here because she's going there. Right. So that's. And you just move me hard that way. That's what makes me really good and mixed because I'd never get a ball. So I just get a hunt. So now it was just like Ben Johnson, whoever he played with, they wouldn't go to Ben at all. Right. And he would end up here and yeah. they would play two on, right? Two <laughs> on whatever, a whole court yeah. and half and court. And Colin goes off and literally. And it's Stand. Colin or anybody mixed. Yeah. So now they figured out they got to go to Ben. Yeah. So they're giving Ben a ton of balls now yeah. to keep him just out of hunting. Oh, yeah. right. Right. Just to keep him honest. He's not a huge threat because he just defends the whole time. He doesn't flick. Yeah. He, they, are, they are pure counter strikers. They'll either set up a game plan where they go both middle or they go outsides, him and their partner. They know where they're going before yeah. they ever do it. You know, it's just smart. But they had to go to Ben because he was just tearing them up. So you're the bone. That's me. That's me. Ah, David. Okay, new bone. New bone in town. <laughs> you, that's the one you have to get. If I go over, yeah. Because you put it there and I can go there. Yeah, and I went here. 
You got right. it. Right. And, and it's not can, coming. The angles changed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This angle to your two is way different. Yeah. Like this one, I'm going at David, right? Correct. Okay. That's the difference, yeah. People just, I think everybody sees this stuff, but they don't, you know. It's not where the ball lands. It's often where it came from. Yeah, Same is true like on returns. For sure. Right. And that's why that job, your job is so hard. Even though you think, oh, I'm only playing 10%. No, your job is hard. You? Me? Yeah. Ah, David. Yeah. I did, I did that all day this morning. Everything was going out the back. I think because the speed's different from what I was just oh, in Oklahoma. I, I bet that, yeah. So now they're going slower and I'm ripping them out the back. So those are, so look to threaten Ernie, you know, well, that was a, that should have been a threat Ernie. Boom, and he missed, yeah. Yeah, because if, right, right, I'm like, I go any time now? Because uh, eventually he's going to rip that four on me, right? <laughs> but that's, you know, I will hit that shot if that, if the partner doesn't come over, right? And that's what I see the partner, gosh, dang, yeah. I'm missing all day. All right, what time you got? You guys. Okay. okay so that so was really good. We got five minutes if you want them. We'll just or talk it out. Um, so we were doing, let me see if this is even working. Yep, looks like it's working. Great, great. Okay, make sure you give a thumbs up. This is where developing my twos and four system to put it on an online program. So we're fleshing out how to be able to film it best. Um, we have to work, we have the defensive part of it. We have the two shots that come, at, come back off the numbers. That's a little more dynamic. I think the twos and fours is pretty easier to explain. Maybe not to somebody brand new, but we just work certain numbers and it opens up certain combinations and then it opens up certain attacks. So I hit a certain number, I'm expecting two attacks to come back off of it. If I don't get the attacks, then I'm just putting it back in defense. Um, it's a really cool system and it's really cool when you and your partner know it together and you can just play a, way above your skill level because you're playing as a super team then. So that's part of the reason why I win a lot is if I can get, because I hit these numbers. You know, I put people in uncomfortable positions and I never give them a favorite shot. So that's what turns me into a really good player. Okay, so thanks for Gordon and Shar for helping. And then we're going to, we're just going to put this together soon. Okay, thanks. See ya. Boop. Hit subscribe. Hit like.